This vulnerability was found at the 19th of April of 2021 and has been disclosed using SSD. Hello world, I'm Zanit and welcome to the SSD CVE deep dive series. Today we're going to take a look at the overlay FS privilege escalation exploit that has been found at the beginning of the year and how it could exploit a vulnerability in the mounting system of Linux to get you root. But to understand this exploit, we need to understand how the underlying systems used in this exploit work namely overlay FS and mounting. The most common use case for mounting devices in Linux is when you plug in a USB or plug in a CD. Linux will then take this device and mount it into a specific directory. Usually that's done in the slash mount directory, but there's no limitation to where you as the user can mount stuff into. Another use case would be an installation where you can mount your hard disk onto a directory to then install further things on it, like the system that you want to install. And the mounting device can be anything that you've plugged in into your computer. This can range from a hard disk, an SSD, an M2 drive, a pluggable USB drives, USB sticks, CDs. I think you get the idea. But you are not limited to only mounting devices that are plugged in. You can also mount directories onto other directories. And you can even go as far as to mount multiple directories into one directory and have them appear as one. This is done with a technology called overlay FS. Usually there will be a lower and an up tier and that together gets you the overlay. Hence the name overlay FS. The lower tier contains all the read only files that you can read but not write into. The upper tier contains read write files which you can read and write into or from to. Overlay FS merges them together into a uniformly handled system that looks to you as if it's just one directory with different file permissions. But how can an attacker exploit this system to gain root privilege? They could use something similar to set UID bits. Now set UID bits tell the system to open this application as a specific user. For example, the sudo command or the sudo application has a set UID bit so it runs as root so you can co execute commands as root. And Linux also offers file capabilities which work similarly to the set UID bits but can be more fine grained. However, these capabilities are only checked in respect to their namespace. This allows us to manipulate all the permissions in our mount and that shouldn't be a problem. The problem, however, occurs when those changes are propagated to the underlying file system and are not checked properly. When overlay FS forwards these permission changes onto the file system, it doesn't properly check if all the checks pass. In fact, it only sets the attributes and doesn't really check them. But the good news is that this exploit only works on older versions of Ubuntu 2010, Ubuntu 2004 LTS, 1804 LTS, 1604 LTS, and 14.04 ESM. Even newer versions of Ubuntu 20.04 LTS like the Ubuntu 20.04.3 LTS are not vulnerable. Additionally, since the Linux kernel 5.11, the call to change these attributes also now contains the call to check these attributes and set them to the respective namespace which were missing at the time of finding this exploit. As always, you can find further explanations and even an exploit code on the SSD website. Try hack me also as a lab where you can test out this kernel exploit and get root privilege on a machine that they provide. You can find this lab in the tryhackme.com slash room slash overlay FS and you can get to this challenge. If you want to submit your own vulnerabilities to the vendor, check out SSD Secure Disclosure. They allow you to disclose vulnerabilities to the vendor responsibly since 2007. Don't forget to like this video if you want to see more of this coming in the future and click the subscribe and notification bell so you're up to date with the newest CVs that get explained.